Hi there, Year 10. This is just a quick video to explain how to evaluate something. So this is a key skill. Um, you're obviously now at the end of Year 10, and you are obviously next year looking at Year 11 and 12. And this is one key writing skill that we find a lot of students struggle with. So we're going to try and look at how we can improve your writing skills. And remember, this is... Um, closely similar to what we did already in task one about how to evaluate. So any notes you've written from, you know, task one about how to evaluate, use those again. We're going to use the same principle, but obviously different um, subject content to address that evaluate question. So let's have a look at the question finally. Uh, evaluate the effectiveness of manage management strategies used to protect wetlands so we're probably going to see that there's some differences similarities in the number of management strategies used around the world it's looking at how effective those management strategies are so there's a whole heap of criteria that we can use to judge that effectiveness that word effectiveness is very um, wide and open for discussion and that's why i'm going to take you through the steps now um, so evaluate, uh, this is what it means. It basically means to judge something with respect to its worth or significance. And NESA, they're the people in charge of writing all the exams. Um, they have uh, what's called NESA definition verbs. And they are basically key words in the exam, in, in the big questions. And they give you a definition so you can obviously answer the question. So in year year 11, year 12, if you want to do really well, you need to know those NESA definitions. And evaluate is one of the most difficult reasons because you've got to, as it says there, make a judgment based on criteria, determine the value. Now, criteria is up to you. You can select any um, criteria you want. In geography in general, we look at social, economic and environmental um, sort of criteria. So we can use that information to help us make that value and that judgment of something. So that's what evaluate means. When we, um, we've talked about what it means and we may have to make a judgment. Now that judgment is based on criteria. Now that criteria is basically a standard or some features that will help us make that judgment. So you evaluate um, all the time, uh, but you probably don't realize it. And a good example is when you go into a shop and you say you want a new jumper, you look at the cost, the quality of material, the likelihood of wearing it, and the coolness factor. That's just four um, criteria that you can use to make that judgment, that evaluate whether that jumper's right for you. Obviously, there's heaps more, but if we were writing an essay, there are my four criteria to make that judgment. So let's have a look at the activity, the should do activity. So you're gonna use your information from task one on Pioneer Dairy and the Everglades, or you're gonna use um, any other um, case studies you wish, and you're gonna evaluate the effectiveness of those management strategies. Here's our marking criteria, and to get those A's and B's, that demonstrates extensive knowledge, um, the extensive knowledge and understanding, that's where that evaluate comes in and making that judgment on different environments and different ecosystems. So that's where it fits in. And that's why an evaluate, if you can answer one of those, you do better in exams. So when we talk about evaluate, these are some steps in which we follow to get to that evaluate. So obviously identify the main component, so obviously if we're looking at a management strategy at Piney Dairy, it might be um, reduction of weeds. Then you've got to describe it. Reduction of weeds means taking out any invasive species. Then you've got to explain the purpose of that. So the reason why we get rid of those weeds is to let native um, plants uh, take back over um, the ecosystem and then critically analyze what's the impact. Well. That's allowed, like I've said, native vegetation to regrow without that competition because it hasn't had that time to adapt to those invasive species. And then this is where it comes to evaluate. This has been successful because the, um, we have seen an increase in the number of native species. We have seen a return of other um, native species of 
birds and plants as well. So that's what we mean by evaluate and that's how you go through the different steps. Now in geography, our criteria can, is huge. Um, you can look at and use any of those criteria and look at your management strategies. Okay, so they're there for you to help. So pause the video, have a good read of those and see if you can use any of the management strategies you've identified in your research to answer those. Um, again, there's our steps um, and hopefully you start the identify and move your way up to evaluate for each management strategy. Now, what we've got here is a bit of an example of um, a question and then how to answer four of those alarm steps. So um, to discuss how future infrastructure spending should be distributed in Australia. So that's something we could do. Um, so I'm, I've got a little, just some examples of what outline, describe, explain are. So just press pause, read those, make sure you understand what we mean. Read this one for compare and contrast because you're going to do this with management strategies. This is discuss, this is the evaluate. And you can see in the areas that are highlighted, that's our judgment. And that's where we take a discuss question into an evaluate because we are making a judgment of the criteria. So read that carefully. And there's an example of using those steps how we build on um, the information, all right? And finally, here are some key words that you can use in um, your answer to obviously meet that evaluate and criteria question. If you've got any questions, let us know. All right, thanks for listening.